Oh, Jalen, over here. Obviously, a uh, big fight week here before UFC 300 when, like, a milestone event. So, I guess, what are the emotions now that, like, hard part's over and you just got to weigh in and then go fight Saturday? Um, shoot, the hard part hasn't started yet. <laughs> the the weigh-in is the hard part. And then, then I get to have fun. Well, I'm curious, what's life been for you since that Bobby Green fight? Because, obviously, you took that fight short notice and it was such a spectacular finish. And from just the outside looking in, it doesn't seem like you've ever been as popular as you have been now after that performance. So I guess, have you been recognized more? Have you been getting more opportunities? So just what's life been since that performance? I mean, if I'm getting asked a question like that, then I guess, you know, it's a testament to that in itself because I, I haven't paid attention to it. I haven't noticed too much of a difference. But, hey, I mean, that's a good outlook. Is that a conscious thing? Like, do you just try to block that out? Or do, do people do come up to you and try to, you know, tell you these things? Um... Nah, I just, I just, yeah, I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not that, I'm not that kind of person, like, I don't really pay attention to it, you know, like, I know it's going to come with it regardless, so, yeah, it is what it is. In your fight against Hanato, I believe was the last fight added to this card, and when he was in here, he didn't think he was going to get added to this, so I'm curious, was it a surprise when they called you to be added to UFC 300? It was a little bit of a surprise, yes, um, I thought it was going to be put on a later date, but they ended up making it on this card, so I was like, okay, cool, let's do it. Were you happy with to be added to 300, or would you have liked more time between fights? Um, I'm happy. I'm yeah. I'm pretty consistent in the gym, so I'm always pretty like fairly ready. So yeah. And in terms of Hinato, uh he's also probably never been more popular. Uh, you know, cutting his Money Moicano uh, promos and everything. So what do you make of him as an opponent? Um, he's he's another opponent. That's, that's what it is at the end of the day. And uh, last two for me. Can I get your thoughts on the main event between Alex and Jamal and the BMF fight between Justin and Max? Um, both are going to be spectacular fights. They're definitely going to be stand-up battles. And the best man is going to win both those fights. That's it. Hey, Jalen over here. How's it going? Um, I remember when we spoke ahead of this fight, you were talking about how people don't give you enough credit for your striking. Do you feel like this is the exact type of matchup that could really showcase that and remind people just with the fact that you have knockout power, we've seen Moicano get knocked out a few times. Do you feel like this is a good opportunity, especially on this big card? Nah, I feel like he's going to try to grapple me. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely going to try to nullify my striking in any way, shape, or form he can and you know, probably drag the fight out. But if he's willing to stand and trade, then I will be there. Absolutely. Well, your ground game's pretty, you know, obviously well established as well. Like, if it does go to the ground, how comfortable do you feel down there? I feel pretty comfortable getting up, and you know, uh, my submission defense feels really on par. I started training jujitsu and the gi again, so I feel, you know, I feel good. Everything kind of aligned, you know. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm real, well versed for this opponent. What about the implications of a victory? Jose just mentioned, you know, how popular Morcano is. Uh, obviously, um, you know, this is a huge card as well. Is this the type of fight that really gets you, you know, a notable opponent after this? I mean, it seems like uh, the UFC, you know, likes you. They're putting you on this card. Yeah, you know, um, I would like that, you know, but also in the grand scheme of things, like, I, I, I have no say, you know. Like, I, I do want to go in there and perform and get a spectacular win. And at the end of the day, you know, i got to figure out what happens after that. That's it. Just last one for me. Any fight week rituals you like doing, like things to just keep your mind off fighting and, and all this stuff? Is there anything you like doing while you're here in Vegas? Um, no, nothing in particular. You know, I just kind of just cruise through, just, yeah, just, I don't know, just sulk in the moments of doing this, you know, like sitting here doing media because I know, like, at the end of the day, like, the career's going to end. I'm not going to be in front of the cameras, you know what I mean? So I just sulk and bask in these moments, you know. Jalen over here. It's the return of the T-Mobile Turner once again. This time perhaps the biggest stage of them all. So when you got your fight put together as the last one, what, what did you make of Renato being the guy that you're going to share the cage with for this big occasion? Um, yeah, it was cool. I mean, you know, he said my name a couple times. So I, we tried to make it happen. I don't know why it didn't work out. But now this time it worked out. So I'll get to see him on the, on the other side of the octagon Saturday night. And how did it feel fighting in Austin compared to fighting at the team so many times throughout your career? Um, Austin was actually pretty lit. Like, it was cool. It was a cool atmosphere, and it was different. Like, the whole process was different. It was like a cool little refreshment. You know, I felt like I was like, like a hungry young fighter again, like fighting somewhere else. Like, it felt good. A lot of talk about this card is the bonuses, potential bonuses, but it's going to be hard to get one given how many fights and amazing fighters are on this card. So... How are you going to separate yourself from the rest of the card in order to score a big bonus potentially? 
Um, you know, I got a couple things up my sleeve, and I got to see if my opponent allows me to line them up, and then, you know, we'll see. But I definitely plan on getting a bonus. <laughs> and given your, the way you fight and how to fight, do you think that's a big possibility of getting a fight of the night for you, too? Mm, nah, I think fight of the night is going to go to uh, the BMF belt, and there's too many fights, man. There's too many, fight, too many good fights. Bobby Green and Jim Miller is going to be a barn burner, too. You know, there's too many good fights to get fight of the night. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to get the performance. Speaking of Bobby, did you run into him at all during this fight week so far? And have you uh, you know, it's funny. I haven't. I haven't ran in, into anybody. That's kind of, it's kind of. I was thinking about that the other day. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jalen, right here. Uh, Jalen was wondering. You just recently did the Jackson podcast. Just wondering, how was that experience recording with those guys? Uh, it's cool. You know, they're one of my sponsors, so they're, they're, they're cool. I like it. And then, obviously, you've been part of so many big cards, but like 300, does it feel like, hey, it won't get bigger than this one? Or do you feel like, hey, after being part of so many pay-per-views, T-Mobile, all this, it's like, you know what? I do think it could still get even bigger. The biggest card I'm going to be a part of is the one that I get to headline. Jalen, here in the back. You fought many different styles in the UFC so far. Do you feel like Moicano's is reminiscent to anybody you've already taken on? Yeah, he kind of reminds me of Callum Potter. Um, you know, just because like Callum Potter was a, a black belt also. And yeah, I don't know why. There's, those are the only two that, that correlate to me. I'm pretty sure there's other people that I've fought that have like the same accolades. Like uh, I, would prob I don't know how durable he is, Dan Hooker was definitely the toughest fighter I've ever fought in my life. I don't know if McConnell is that durable. So, you know, I won't know until I fight him. Um, but yeah, you know, body, body wise, you know, styles kind of similar to Dan a little bit, but not, not as well versed in the striking, I would say. So, you know, we'll see, you know, we'll see. Thank you. Hey, Jalen, um, what's it gonna take for the UFC to put on like a skateboarding competition to, uh, you know, there's a couple of skateboarders uh, in, in in the promotion, and we all know that she loves to uh, get down. Man, yeah, we definitely need to do that. That could be a cool little spinoff. They could make some money doing that, you know? A little game of skate, you know, have the barracks sponsor it or set it up, you know what I mean? I definitely think I could win that. Cool, thank you. They've been doing skating in here. Have they? they have, they've been doing some stuff in here. Oh, what? That's lit. I didn't even know. That's it. Thank you, guys.